okay guys so this is what the hairline looks like before any plucking as you can see it's very dense and straight so i'm just sectioning out some baby hairs the closure already came with some baby hairs but um so i just remove them and i'm gonna pin them down so that they're out of the way while i'm plucking the rest of the closure So once it's pinned down, you're going to take a spray bottle. I prefer to pluck my closures and frontals wet. So you're going to take a spray bottle so that all of the hair is out of the way and you can easily pluck going backwards or following the way the hair is going back, basically. So you're going to pick your tweezers and don't start at the beginning of the hairline. Um, by the way, I'm still learning. I'm not perfect at this. I know that I've made mistakes when doing this frontal, but start from a little bit back, like maybe a finger spacing back from the beginning of the hairline. So start from the back and then work your way up because that way you won't get any bald spots and don't pluck in the same area for too long. Like pluck a little bit, then move to another area because if you do that, you'll get bald spots and I did get bald spots, but it's okay because I'm still learning and I know I'm going to get better. So basically, as you can see here, I'm just taking the hair out from the back and then moving a little bit towards the front until I'm happy with what the um, plucking looks like. So this is what it looks like after I've plucked. I think it looks pretty good, honestly. And then that's the side that hasn't been plucked. So essentially, I'm just doing the exact same thing I did on this side and I'm doing it to the side that hasn't been plucked so start from a little bit behind the hairline don't start exactly on the hairline or else it won't come out nice so once you have plucked um, you basically want to just remove some little pieces from the actual hairline you move the baby hairs back in front of the hair and you just pluck out any tiny pieces that may look like they're not supposed to be there just to make it look more natural. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing it to, you know, elevate the closure a bit a bit. Um, I do see some bald spots in places where I didn't pluck enough and places where I over pluck, but it's okay. It still looks better than having a dense ass hairline. It's just straight line. So yeah, there you can see I've kind of over plucked and under plucked if that makes sense, but it's okay. Like I said, and this is how much hair I remove when plucking. So for the knots, you're going to take your bleach and developer. I'm not using any measurements because it doesn't really matter. Your goal is to make a thick bleach mixture. Like it needs to be thick. It should not be runny or else it's going to seep into the lace and then onto the hair. So you want it to be as thick and creamy as possible. So um, instead of using a brush, I would suggest using like a like a knife or a spatula, something that's easy to smooth on because this was kind of hard. But yeah, if you use something smooth like that, don't press, glide the bleach because if you press, it's going to go inside the lace and it will get to the roots of the hair and you don't want that. You just want to bleach the knots, not the actual hair. Then after you have done applying, that you have done after you're done applying the bleach i put it on top i put the closure bleach facing down on top of a piece of tin foil and i left it on for about 20 minutes so make sure you don't over bleach because it really shows when you over bleach that's why i use the 20 volume developer because it's not as strong as the other volumes if you were to use a higher volume developer you would need to cut the time in half so example if you had 30 i would suggest leaving it on for maybe like 10 minutes but yeah
so this is what it looks like after you've bleached it's not too extreme but when you put it on your hand or your skin you can see that the knots aren't very noticeable they're they're I, I think I did a really good job bleaching not even going cap <laughs> I killed it and this is what the wig looks like so honestly it was pretty easy this is my first time plucking a closure like this the last time I tried to pluck it came out shit so thank you guys for watching subscribe and I'll see you in my next video Mwah.